for change. Real life. Real practical. Real radio. Log talk. Hey, it is me. So today I was told by my friend Angelica to come on and do a live. So here I am. I'm looking rough. It's been a long day, but I'm still not tired yet. So I wanted to do a little something different tonight. I am going to let y'all watch how I get rid of stress. Okay. So I went to visit a friend. This afternoon, I um, had a lot of meetings after work, but I went to visit a friend. And so we were talking. And she says, okay, so you work at the school? Yeah, love it. A little boring sometimes. Um, you have a little dog afterwards working with kids. I love being a character. And I do sometimes. Most of the time, I do it when I want to, spare time. And I have my little vacation stuff. Do it a lot. Love it because that's something I'm very passionate about. So I like to see people smiling. But sometimes people just get on my damn nerves. Just being real. Okay. Because they do. And used to, I would get in trouble because I didn't have a job that I had to worry about. My new job, I have two jobs gone because. I'm in trouble. So, knocking someone out to get someone nerves can't happen as often as I would like. So, I took up a new hobby. That's right. In a month, all these jobs, I have a hobby now. And I was telling my little friend today about my new hobby. And she says, Jennifer, with your hobby, you got to give me some. And I said, okay, let me go home. I forgot I got a little something to do tonight. So I'll do it. I am now making homemade bread. Had to do a starter a few weeks ago. That taught me patience. So I started my starter. If you know, your starter has to set for several weeks. Well, I think it's several days, like eight to ten days. Anyway, did my starter, fed my starter, made my first batch of bread. Got so much is left. So, I started my dough process yesterday because you have to set a little rice because I don't use no bread machine because it takes some of the fun out. So, now I'm to the last part. This is what I've got now. It has risen overnight. I have to put it in one place. So today I'm going to let you watch how I get my frustrations when people get on my nerves. Okay. If I call names as I'm hitting, don't get mad now because I'm just taking it out on the bread. I'm not taking it out on you. You understand? So first, I got to get all this icky sticky bread out. I cheat. I'm not even going to pretend. Because see, I use Handy Dandy Nifty Spray. Because I don't like that stuff sticking to my hands. So, let's get my bread dough out. I'll try to show you a picture of it as I'm beating this stuff apart. Miss Diana, some of this is just for you, sweetheart. Only because I love y'all. So I'm not going to touch too much because I'm cooking. I don't know if you can see. See my little dough. So I take this dough and I squish it around. And you want to get all the air out of it. Get your frustration out. Tim, this is your face tonight. Just kidding, honey. I love you. But you just got to keep. Yeah, you just keep beating it up. So I took up this hobby because whew, when you're in business, you can't have an opinion. And I swear everybody and their brother on Sundays, like I said, I'm trying not to touch stuff because it's disgusting. Everybody and their brother on Sundays goes out to eat. And I used to. 
me and Tim will try to go out <clears throat> to eat on Sunday. Whew, the first Sunday was counting days. Lord, the women got out of church. They come over to counting days just to talk about the minister. Now, the minister got rid of some bulletins. Woo! I get it. I get it. That's mad about it. They had me not want to go to that church. They said everything but what I guess they done got their forgiveness, so they come on out to Captain D's. But I couldn't speak up because I couldn't have an opinion because I got a business. Me and two family vacations. We want to keep a good reputation, not have an opinion. Okay, so then Tim had this idea. He said, Jennifer, let's go to Logan's. It's date day. I was like, yeah, baby, let's go to Logan's. So we went to Logan's for date day. <sighs> so we're sitting here. Minding my own business. Discussing some vacation stuff and what I could do different. What I could do better. I take criticism, folks. Drop it in the comments. I don't mind. So as I'm sitting there... This woman starts talking about Nancy Pelosi. Can't have an opinion. But apparently Nancy Pelosi was telling this woman the banks were collapsing. This woman was telling the waitress that the banks were collapsing. And was telling this waitress to send her money to this overseas camp. But she was using. Uh, true story. I really, I had tears run down my face because I really want to turn and say, ma'am, number one, you can't believe everything you see on TV and the fact that you know nothing much about this count tells me you shouldn't have sent your money to it. Now, why are you trying to get this hard-working child to send her money to this account? I don't know. But I couldn't have an opinion. And she just kept on telling about everything she heard. So then Tim, yes, honey, that's where you come in. Yeah. Yells out. If you heard Trump's going to jail, what's going to happen then? Oh, I swear the woman took two breaths like this, like this. <gasps> and I took five. Oh, my God. I said, I said, you're going to have to go on to the bathroom or something get out of my face. Because if that woman speaks, if that child even starts to give money to that woman to send to an overseas account, we're going to have issues. And I can't have an opinion while I'm here in public because... I love everybody and I want everybody to think that I agree with them. So anyway, I took my food to go, asked for my to-go box. Thank you, Jesus. The waitress said that she was going to have to wait till Monday to get her money. I pray the woman didn't. But you know, I don't know. But here I am making bread. Have beat it up, got the air out, needed it. Ah, most of my stress is gone. It's a good workout for your upper arms, ooh, ooh, you know. So then, once you get it all beat up, this second go around, like I said, you spray your pan really good, and then you want to break this big ball in half. Some people's got a machine that does all this kneading for them. Not me, man. I don't need that. Because then you can't beat it up and pretend it's people that gets on your nerves. Better than anger management. Cheaper than anger management. And I hope it tastes better than having to go through anger management. But that's a few times. Don't recommend it. So then you put it back in your little 
bread pan. And I do have two of them, so I've got to get my other bread pan out. Thank you, Gail Sam. I appreciate it. Pampered Chef, can't do go wrong. This is my cheap Dollar Tree one, but I didn't get my Pampered Chef one out, so I don't want to risk dropping it. But, yeah, that's all I wanted to come on and tell you guys about. There's ways to take out your frustration. Most of my ways of taking out my frustration. Like I said, I work a lot. I got ADHD. But bacon bread is what makes me stay calm and smile a lot. I can't wait to come on. I've got a surprise coming Friday. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And your family vacations has been so blessed. But I gotta wait. Uh, please do look at on my wall. It's on Minchu Family Vacations wall as well as on Jennifer Minchu wall. We're doing a couple's get a giveaway. Lots of bread baking, ladies. Keep your man. Don't hit him. You don't need no charges. But we are doing a Cancun giveaway for couples uh, to be part of it. What I need you to do is email me. Why do you think your couple or you and yourself deserve the trip to Puerto Vallarta? I don't even know how to pronounce it. Tim always does. Anyway, there are Cancun. There's, a, I think she's like five resorts you get to choose from. But uh, April the 28th, I will announce the winner. April the 26th is the deadline for submissions. So far, I'm going to be real with y'all on three submissions. If only three submissions stay, got a surprise for everybody. I'm not telling you until I see how many submissions I get. Okay. So go on. No, no resort visits. None of that timeshare stuff. Just straight up go have fun. Send me pictures because Minchu Family Vacations like to see you smile. All right. So get in my inbox with why you think you and your husband, you and your boyfriend, or your mama and your daddy deserve a trip to Cancun or Puerto Rico, whatever. How do you say that? Over there in Mexico, have a passport hand. If you don't have a passport, we can make arrangements for you and help you out. Does not furnish the airlines. No, no, no. You do have to pay for your airlines. But what it does furnish is the accommodations once you get there. All right. You all are amazing. Thank you for watching and hopefully learning how to ah, get that. Finger out. Y'all have a great night. And always remember, Philippians 4 and 13. Minchie Family Vacations out. Love y'all.